Hi there, my name is Alia Sela, and I'm really glad that you came here to learn about growing your intuition through self-muscle testing. Self-muscle testing has been such an asset to every aspect of my life, knowing how to eat, what to call somebody, even finding my keys, it helps with, as well as GPS if I need to, I've been able to use it in every aspect of my life. And that's why I teach it to so many people. It's the first thing I'll teach a client or a, a student. It's just so important to be able to have that feedback from our body wisdom. And that's what self-muscle testing is. My name is Aliyah Sela, and I'm a psychic astrologer, a joy whisperer, which means that I see things that help people to be led to their joy. And I am also the founder of Psychic Inspiration Academy. So if that's something that you're interested in, let me know. Hit me up down below. You can also give me a like, which would be cool. And let me know if you are interested in the Psychic Inspiration Academy uh, classes that we have coming up in the future. So let's talk about self-muscle testing. Self-muscle testing is possibly something you've heard of before. But if not, you may have heard of muscle testing, which is usually done with chiropractors and alternative doctors, practitioners of various different wellness and healing modalities that are there to help us to listen to our own body by our, the strength that we have in our arm as it's pushed down. So yes is strong and no goes down and different things that you hold supplements or ideas or whatnot, it will change between being very strong or not so strong. And it's really amazing to see how pretty much accurate this method is of listening to your own body wisdom. So I had an experience of a doctor who felt that he knew more about the my body wisdom than I did. And that kind of made me feel weird. So I decided to learn self-muscle testing when I heard about that that was a thing. And this was many, many years ago. So I've been doing this for decades now, and I've taught so many people to do it. Um, and it's just the most rewarding thing for them to have this tool that now that they can use to listen to their body wisdom. And every time they do it, they get it, they grow their intuitive abilities even more. So that's what's so cool about it. And it's it happens to also be an instrument of trust. And so it grows our trust, our trust in the universe and others. And that heals so many things. So it's a wonderful feedback me mechanism that gives us the ability to trust ourselves, um, our guidance, the universe, you know, those around us to just have a sense of presence that is sacred and that you trust. So this is a quote by Albert Einstein. The most important decision we make is whether we believe we live in a friendly or hostile universe. And that is so profound. If you think about it, it really has a big effect on how we perceive everything. So I made some art here to give us some ideas as to what that means as well. Is this hand holding up or holding back planet Earth? So it's, you know, you need to make that choice for yourself. And it is like, you know, half empty, half full, the glass, you know, and um, it's, it's an interesting thing because of where we are in, in the world right now. You know, these, these forces want to help us and they say they're holding us up, but they could be holding us back. And yet there's also other forces that are, you know, the God forces that are holding us up and um, they will always be there holding us up. So it's many things that it can mean. And here in this other picture, there is an elder higher power that is always here for us. Is that something that you believe? And if so, of this um, fairy, galactic being, angel figure is coming out of a time hole. Um, if you believe that that is something that is support that's there for you, that you can rely on, that is going to really help you 
and self muscle testing will give you enough synchronicities and times where you know you were absolutely right and you understood that you were right and that helped you a great deal once you get to that point with self muscle testing you do trust the universe more cuz you have some kind of connection with it so for me um i painted these to get the feeling across that self muscle testing is a way to share my experience of growing trust so you know, self-muscle testing, it can tell us many things. It can tell us which way to go. And I've used it with my GPS before. And uh, <laughs> when it didn't work, it was a wonderful method to use. So I use it a lot when I drive. You know, is it this way? Is it that way? It can help you because you can do it right on the steering wheel once you get good and you do it with your hands. You can do it all different kinds of places under a table to ask things that you should order or not. I mean, there's all kinds of ways it can help benefit your life. And the best time to call, like the best time to call somebody, is this a good time for them to for me to call? And, you know, way to get there. Should I go this route or that route? There's so many things that it has to offer to um, tell us if it's actually the best time or way with self-muscle testing. So this is where the doctor was using it. Um, here with the self-muscle testing, you have uh, went ahead here. So let me get back. It is um, usually used for food, um, what to eat or drink, what supplements to take. And make sure that when you hold it, you're saying a dose of this sub, of this medicine, not the whole bottle to take when your body needs it and and when that is and you know listening to your body wisdom on that because it's a method to listen to our body wisdom so this is the way that most people do it um first at least it's called the stand and sway method and um you center uh yourself with your rooted feet on the ground and your head rising up so that you have this up and down stretch that's pulling up and down. And that gives you an alert feeling and kind of activates your body into an animation of kind of you're ready to receive guidance or understanding. And then you ask, um, you know, as you hold the yes or no question to your heart, or you can hold it to your throat as this woman's doing. And you wait as you open and um, you are allowing the body to sway. If it goes forward, the answer is yes. Backwards, the answer is no. Um, it can go, you know, just not move at all. And that is usually, it's not time to know yet. Maybe there's other people that need to decide. Just remember that muscle testing and self-muscle testing are always in the now. So it's not necessarily going to be the same tonight as it is today. Um, but Keep muscle testing and you will get that subtlety of difference between them. So you've just got to keep doing it as much as possible. And then your life will tell you how to do it better. So these are about eight methods that I found to do the self-muscle testing. There's stand and sway, which we've already gone over. And that one is like, you're like a pendulum or you can use a pendulum. And that could mean going circles. One direction is yes. One direction is no. Up and down or sideways is yes or no. You decide which way you would to work with your pendulum. And so that's another way. Then there's the okay fingers that you take and you um, interlink them and don't hold it so tight that it's impossible to open it, but keep it kind of tight. If it's a yes, it should be strong. If it's a no, it will open. And if it comes out, but not easily, it could be a maybe. And that means it's not time yet to know. And you have to, you know, wait and muscle test again later. Like that eight ball, you have to shake, you know, <laughs> gasp later. <laughs> Anyways, there are many different methods. As you can see here, there's things where you're pushing your thumb down, very much like the arm that was pulling, being pushed down with the doctor there in the center. There's this one here where you're pushing your finger down, much like the doctor was pushing the arm down. There's this one where you're doing the okay, but you have the opening happening, and that's a no because it opens. It won't come out if it's the answer is yes. And 
again, you're doing this subtly. So you see the difference with questions you already know. And you'll find that there's some that are interesting, this smooth and sticky, where you can feel that it's kind of smooth when the answer is yes and no, it kind of sticks, uh, meaning that it has a resistance feeling. So try different methods. I actually have one where I do it kind of like a snap and I open it up here and, and allow it to open. And that in, is what I've been doing for many years. It's something that I found, you know, but this is really good if you can do this because it's only doing one hand and you can do something else with your other hand if you need to. So there's many different ways and I'm happy to uh, teach more on this. I probably will do a longer talk about it because it's so important and so vital to so many of the people I've worked with. It's like the first thing I teach my clients, my students, my friends, my family, because once you're listening to your body wisdom, everything is a lot easier. You're not resisting yourself. You're not fighting yourself. You've made peace. And that really changes a lot. So I've taught thousands of people this. Please have other people watch this and learn it as well. It's a wonderful way to guide your life and uh, to have a tool that keeps growing in time. As I grew and grew, it helped me um, the, the better and better over time. So it's a wonderful method that does make you better over time. And Alia Sela, Joy Whisper, inspiring you to follow your joy and um, to co-create with others, artists, healers, empaths, intuitives, indigos, crystals, and psychics. Come to Psychic Inspiration and let us help you to get the professional tools for doing readings beyond learning the actual symbols is how to talk to somebody and how to care for another person in transition. So we talk a lot about these things and I look forward to talking to you. You have a good one and thank you so much and know that you can have a blessed and a magical life by knowing that you are blessed and magical. Take care, peace.